just got the call from my boy Anna Lee Chopper. He needs me in LA by tonight for a video shoot. Yeah, you can do all the good in the world. Some motherfucker's still gonna try to bring you down. Took my took my bag. It's like it's some it's some clippers in there, bro. What you gonna do? You a barber? Like people are crazy, man. When some shit like this happens to you, don't go out there acting crazy because of it. Don't start getting on social media talking about fuck you, fuck this, trying to find the person that did this. Man, it's whatever. He didn't take nothing important to me. I lost some clippers, I get them back. All that person doing is adding to the blessing that God got coming for you later. Shit like this is supposed to happen, it's part of the journey. Journey is never gonna be smooth, it's never gonna be easy. I go, the worst shit about it is my trimmers. I got tickets. Those were my OG trimmers. I cut every major celebrity with those trimmers. I had them set so perfect. Those are the ones I had on my IG that I was like, yo, they sound loud, but I promise they hit. And if you a barber, you know how it is when you get your favorite tool, like it either breaks, you lose it or something like this happen. Losing that favorite tool is crazy. I got extras. You already know I stay with extra tools, but it's all good. Can always make another one. All right, just got the call from my boy Anna Lee Chopper. He needs me in LA by tonight for a video shoot. So right now I'm booking my flights. And that's how my day is going. It's kind of random. You never know what you're gonna get called for, but for a good client like that, I'm always down to fly out. It's always a good experience and a good energy every time we link up. So I'll be in LA tonight. I go through shit on the daily. My mind going crazy. I'm stacking my bread up. I might have a baby. I can't bring no kid in this world with no M's or live with no daddy. My type of time lately, I slip on the couch, chat with my dog in the cold. Had to sleep with his foot by my mouth. Now I'm running this south. Every time I'm killing it, the whole hood feeling it. I got the word of mouth. The devil working hard, God working harder. You gon' make it far. I'm gon' make it. Yes, bro. First person outside of me with one is you. Like we had a model take pictures in it, but other yeah. than that, like it's really just you. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can get dropping soon. Easily. Yeah. Hey, you know I'm a rocket too. Yeah, no, I'm already you know, I'm a rocket. I'm already knowing. I love it. I love it. Cause I, bro, I wear fitted. Like I wear like fitted. So this is like I don't have a truck. Good. Okay. Good. All right, we just landed in LA. Just pulled up to my boy Mez's crib. We're gonna crash here for the night, and we're gonna link up with Chop in the morning. All right, just woke up. About to head to set right now. We're gonna touch Chopper's haircut up. They started. Yo, Vic, how's your meat chopping? It just sent me a DM one day. That was it. It was super random. I had no idea who he was. My little brother told me who he was. I was like, yo, who is this? And shit, he told me Chopper was going to be big. And we linked up like right after he sent me that DM. But again, I had no idea. He sent me a message, said, yo, I need to chop. And that was it. Bro. No, you don't want to be looking kind of out there. Look at that. 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 Look the floor. The floor. Boom! Oh, done. Done. No, that was you on me. You would have been done. I stepped on that done. foot. He could. That was done. Uh, hey, on me, and my stance too, guys. So I'm coming like nigga, I'm boomed up. <laughs> I ain't gon' lie, I know you hate doing this shit Coming to the same old place, see the same old niggas See the same old bitches, probably playing the same music and shit I know you got plans on probably moving it My boy. <laughs> my boy, what's good with you, y'all? What's good, bro? Hey, Johnny, you my man. Hey, bro. Oh, my He's God. a 14 year old boy. Man, man you, be, you you 14 be cutting hair? Yeah, bro, I'm already in the shop already, bro. That's crazy, bro. Hey, bro, what made you start cutting? Bro, I don't, like, I wanted to make my own money, for real, bro. I started, like, I only been cutting for eight months, bro. Like, I just started getting the shop. If your craft ain't backing up what you're saying, then it don't matter, cause I couldn't do none of this in my in my cuts was trash. Like if I couldn't cut, who gon who gonna rock with everything I say? How can I tell y'all to be the best barber in the world? How can I tell you how to turn a dream reality? I can't even cut good. So your credibility gotta be that first for your craft. So like why you why you young like that? And you got the time, bro, in school, and you just figured it out, bro. Go stupid hard and making sure your phase is right, your lines is right, and you you catching the eye for the, for a cut. After 
you get that eye for that cut and you master it, then all the other stuff on social media, bro, building your YouTube, building your IG, building everything else, it's just going to be a piece of cake because you got the craft for it. Nah, for sure. Nobody. What? There's kids that play on this street, buddy. You can't drive around that corner that fast, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it was 12 miles. They do it to us, man. That mic was not going 12. Oh, though. God. That mic took DD. He's going to go on two wheels. He's going to go 12 miles for that shit. I ain't going to lie. You probably like stupid shit. I ain't gonna lie, I'm assuming. I ain't gonna lie, I am not God. I ain't gonna lie, I'm no. Alright, right now we're in Dick's Sporting Goods. Shop is gonna shoot a video today. I had no idea we were shooting the video today. I guess the meeting here earlier got canceled. So, right now, up, oh, actually, whistle right here. Looking for a whistle. Got a dope video plan. Really came up with it in the last couple of hours, but get everything ready now, getting all the props in, and then we're gonna shoot this today. Nah, that's crazy as fuck. That's dope, yeah. Man, hell I yeah, see so. you, I see her. You got your custody on a lead right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, there. hell yeah. Dope, bro. You feel me right now? Nah, I love my, yeah. Hell yeah, nah, yeah, we gotta do a yeah, video. watch all your videos. Bro, that's Everybody love, my boy. I appreciate you for real. Yeah, yeah. Who's about to do? Hey. They got no room. They got no room back here. Yeah, look at my, it's my knee right here. I want a fool like a fool. Oh, he's coming. Yeah, it'll be hard with a fool. Yeah, go, 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 go. I ain't gon' lie, I'm normal. I ain't gon' lie, I'm formal. I ain't gon' lie, I'm just living through my journal. All right, pulling up to the next scene of the video shoot. I think this is the part I'm about to play in, so. We probably can't show you too much of what we actually do in the video because of behind the scenes, and you just gotta wait for the actual video to come out. Oh damn. Let's go! What? Oh, he's nervous. Oh, he's nervous. Oh, he nervous. Oh, he nervous. Oh, he nervous. What? Hey, boy, we can go. I gotta edit some shit. Hold up, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You was on that, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, that just came out on one. Like, the best way to put it yeah. is if you if you, if you start a relationship off of doing free favors, yeah. it's like you're building a house on sand. Right. Are you gonna get the house up? Y'all gonna be straight. Yeah. How long that house gonna last when you're doing shit for free? Right. Ain't gonna last long. So you gotta establish your price and make sure you're getting your worth wherever you go. You wanna work with people that really love your stuff for what it is and they, they admire you and if yeah. they, they're a fan of your work as much as you are them. Right. Because then that makes y'all both wanna work together and give, give each other the same amount of effort in return. Right. But you can't just, the people that are just like, yo, you another photographer, I'll, I'll get another one because I am who I am. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, that's cool. You ain't for me. Separates you a lot, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I like the rarity of it. It is rare. The, the rarity, it's like, you know like everybody mean? don't get that opportunity. Yeah, you right. Yeah, the rarity of it. It's like it's rare, but it's like, bro, yeah. rare don't pay bills. Like, rare, don't, rare, rare don't. don't. All right, we just pulled up to the most overhyped place in LA. All right, I do not understand why people in LA love in and out so much. See, I'm from North Carolina from the South, so we rock with cookout. Cookout, you got probably a million options of what you could get in your cookout tray. in and out you only get a burger option. You get like, what, three, four different versions of a burger. And first of all, the fries ain't got no season on them. Garbage, right? They like cardboard fries. You can get animal style and they pour the sauce on it, which I thought was trash too. I ain't gonna lie. A burger, I feel like it's hard to make a bad burger, but the fact that you ain't got no options, the fact that the fries is mediocre with no seasoning, I feel like it doesn't touch southern fast food. I feel like fast food out west is nothing compared to what we got like Bojangles, Cookout, Waffle House. I had it one time, let me down, so I'm, I'm gonna give it another try because I'm open minded. Okay, take a look at the menu. Alright. You got three options. You can only get three things. So everybody out there in that line, all gonna get the same shit. Like, how is that possible? Why do you call it animal fries, first of all? Like, what, is this supposed to be crazy? First of all, look at this fry, right? No seasoning. I look at that, like, w without the animal shit on it, it looks sad. Look how skinny it is. Like, it's cool. When I wait, 
an hour for it? Would I drive across town for it? Would I pay the price I paid for it? Hell nah. All right. So now I'm gonna get to the burger. First glance at the burger, my patties look dry. All right, you guys really can't see it, but both my patties look like they're dying for water. And mind you, I pay like $22 for two meals. At cookout, you're gonna get a cookout tray with three food options. Mind you, you got like 20 options of each and a drink for $5. I would've got more at cookout for $10. All right. It's like a five. I think a five out of ten. And I'm not saying that because like I'm from the south. I'm saying that because shit's what it is. I'ma eat it because I'm hungry, but I'm not happy. <sighs> YouTube, good morning. <sighs> Alright, finally leaving LA. It was a good trip. Got a lot done. Got a lot of good content in. I think I got a couple of meetings to get on while I'm at the airport. Fly back, hit Atlanta, get back to the day today, girl. I know I'm a starter. I put my heart in these reps and they feeling it. Fuck all that sap and you're feeling shit. My boy, okay, show some love on oh, the TikTok. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, my boy. That's what's up, bro. It's cool seeing you. from LA? Nah, I'm from Bakersfield, like a couple hours away from LA. Hey, we about to head to Atlanta. Atlanta, Atlanta. okay, baby. Yeah. We're going back home. Oh, for sure. That's what's yeah. up, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, love, it's my boy. Seeing you, bro. Oh, love. I appreciate you, man. Yeah. We had some we had some other uh, uh, production company that passed on on uh, uh, working with me. That is eight five zero. I like that. Again, zero. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's uh, that motivated me. But that's what's up, bro. I see you doing your thing. Bro. I that's love my boy. Up, bro. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It's all love, man. What should be what should be into? You be like flipping kicks. See what it kicks. Ah, uh, nah, bro. I just uh, I just actually started this uh, four edge, bro. I'm not afraid of it. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I got a couple homies listening to it. Yeah, it's cool. Bro. So y'all like got uh, y'all got a meeting out there? Yeah, bro. Event? Yeah, bro. It's, it's good. Bro. That's it's hard. Hell yeah. How long you been doing that for? Shit, two months, bro. But I've been good, though. I've been in progress. How you been liking it? Love it, bro. Love it, meeting new people every day, so it's good. Oh, yeah. That's sick, bro. It's a doctor to journey. I am. I, I think I am, bro. I think I am, sure. Yeah, I gotta just get it. Uh, once I get my plane, get settled. Document your journey, bro. You never know where you're gonna head. Like you're gonna be at the top soon, bro. But yeah. you wanna make sure you vlog and shit. Yeah. That's what I wish I would have done um, earlier. Like when I first started in the garage, I got some content, but I wish I would have had more like in depth shit of me like really speaking on camera, writing this shit okay. down. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. then, bro, I mean, you, right, again, you never know where you're gonna be, bro. You're gonna be at the top one day. You're gonna be like, damn, I wish I had some of the content to add to your story. Yeah, I treat this too like it's motherfucking healing shit. I'm on my own, ain't no ceiling shit. Rapping to pay the bills and shit. Spit the realest shit. When I first saw my deal, hit the dealership. But the times if we want it, we still in it. But the times it was Days with no meals and shit, yeah. Man, I'm so hungry, my head hurt. Had to get myself together, make my head work. Yeah, shout out to me. If we talk about realness, then shout out to me. 